made a little bit of a progress on the lean to greenhouse. I've got the uh, door, I've got a small infill panel there and a, a off cut, an off cut of perspex that I've tucked into there just to give it a little bit of extra light. I've not cut the side panel yet because I'm waiting for the paint to dry to give everything a second coat. And I've put a nine mil plywood board at the back and I've got a couple of mirrors, plastic mirrors from work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to screw them to the back wall and the side wall so that it just uh, reflects any light that comes in because I want it to be as light as possible. So hopefully tomorrow if, when the uh, when the paint's dried I should get the last sheet of perspex in, get the mirrors securely fitted and then it'll be time to start building the shelving. So there we have the uh, little growing room. Just got to sort out the uh, shelving. That's just some old racking I've pulled from out the garage and a bit of a chipboard. I'll put some proper racking. I've got some pallets up at the allotment, so I'm going to rack. Just put a thin layer around there and then across here. Just as long as there's enough room for me to walk in through the door, that's all I really need. So that's uh, freed up a bit of space in the dining room. Wife will be happy with that. And from the outside, Catch. I might put a central support along there just to give the polycarbonate sheet a little bit more strength and also give me something to attach the, uh, the internal rack into. I'll make it at the same height as the panel in there and then I'll run a piece on the outside same as I've done at the top and the bottom and then screw it through polycarbonate to the inside. But yeah, for now, that's that little project done. That's the uh, little lean-to greenhouse finished. I've brought some of the staging up from the allotment. I've also brought up my onion seeds. I've uh, potted on some of the uh, cabbages Primo 3 and a few snowball cauliflower. These are the onion sets, well, sorry, the onions that I grew last year that have just sprouted, so I've just moved them onto a bigger pot. Leeks, broad beans, and the most recent so sowing of brassicas. So I've got everything in there, it's nice and tidy. Put a mirror across the back there to reflect some light. There's a mirror there, runs all the way to the floor, and I've popped the thermometer in. It's currently 14 degrees or 58 Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do now is just going to trim some of these uh, branches away from above so it gets a little bit more light. They need cutting back really. They're taking all the light away from the uh, rest of the garden. So I'm going to, have a, going to have a go at them this afternoon. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's a nice little weekend project. It means that I can keep all the seedlings now at home and keep an eye on them because when I get back from work at the moment it's still dark but I've got the uh, security light in the back garden so I can always come out and check on them anytime I wish really. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, monitor and see how it goes. Just before I go we'll have a quick look inside the grow tent. The aubergine is doing really well. I potted it up earlier this week into the next size pot up and it's, uh, it's come on well since then. Chilies are doing really well. They'll probably be ready to pot on in a week or two. These are the spare chilies, and then there's two chocolate habanero. They were a little bit later to germinate than the rest of the chilies, so I've just potted them up now. And I've only, I only did it yesterday, so it'll take them a couple of days to get settled in. But yeah, it's all looking, it's all looking really good in here. So that's all we've got time for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you again next week. Thank you and goodbye.